You're right, guys. How you doing? Been a long time since the uh, last video. Someone put a rocket in the comments saying it's been five months. But I thought I would put in an appearance. Anyway, to the point. And so this video, this is about taking things too far. The other channel I've got there is more like gritty how-to. So the last video I did was about camera alignment, but you could say DIY alignment in general. So I like to do as much as I can on the car myself for just the experience, getting to know the car, useful skills, etc., etc. But I think I've taken it well. I don't think. I know I took it too far trying to do DIY alignment. And after doing it, I would say my personal opinion is that there's no such thing as a DIY wheel alignment. It's literally a nice idea, but I don't think it's anything that the average person is going to be, should get involved in. Not to say that they can't, but I don't think it's really worth the hassle and the results are probably not going to be there either. So in that video, I was adjusting the camber on this car because there was some, there's issues with the uh, Kayaba that I took for it. Again, videos about that Kayaba on the other channel. So I thought, why not? It's a good opportunity to do a, do a bit of alignment, see what's involved, can I do it, how difficult is it, etc, etc. So I bought a camber gauge, it's the ones with the spirit level, maybe you've seen them on uh, eBay, Aliexpress, etc. You glue it to the, well you, you stick it with a magnet to the brake disc and that gives you the camber um, alignment of the car. So I thought, why not? I mean, I know the camber's out in the car. Let me see if I can adjust it. So. It's a big faff, first of all, to do it, to get it set up right. And it's a bit of a faff in general, the wheel alignment, because the car's got to be, you make the adjustment and then you've got the car, have the car to sit down properly on the suspension. Long story short, I mean, it is possible if you've got the time to do it and you've got some equipment to do it, I think you can do it okay. But what did I get out of doing it really? And I'd say not a lot. First of all, very rarely do I need to adjust the alignment on a car. And second of all, to do it properly, I think you need level ground for one. And also you need a lot of time. So I thought, I'm thinking even if I got proficient at doing it, like the, the DIY method, it's still going to take me a long time to do it, to set the car up. And then even when I do all that, I still think it's not going to be as good as taking it to a wheel alignment. So long story short, you could take things too far, I think, with uh, doing things in the car, just because I'm semi-mechanically competent and a wheel alignment is not that difficult mechanically. It is one of those jobs where it's just best leaving to the professionals just because they've got a setup there, they've got even ground, they've got a ramp or whatever and they've got the equipment ready to rock. Everything is at, you know, at a nice height for them to adjust. I don't think it's ever gonna be something that's worth DIYing, even though, fundamentally speaking, mechanically, it's relatively easy. And I think it struck me, like I fell into a trap. And really, I should take my own advice. Live a life fast in a video with an Audi S2, oh, a couple of years ago now probably. The guy, super mechanically proficient. I mean, he built the gearbox, he built the engine, basically, there's nothing that he couldn't do, it seemed like, on a car. You know, he could do it all. And he did the alignment as well. And Ricky was saying when he was test driving the car that this car, crazy fast, but it's just super unstable. It just feels like it wants to kill me. And I thought to myself, yeah, because he's taking it, just because he can do it, he's taking it a step too far with the alignment. He should just take that to a professional. It's not worth the hassle, considering that a wheel alignment's gonna cost you what? 30 euro, 60 euro? But I didn't take my own advice. And I've had this car now with the alignment off, trying to do the adjustments myself for a while and it was pointless really even if I did manage to get the alignment right the amount of time has taken me and the hassle 
I'm never going to do it again. It's a skill that I probably will never use ever again. There's a million other things I'd rather spend the money on. So, again, point of this video, a bit rambly. I think you just have to say, yeah, I can do it, but I'm not admitting defeat if I get a professional to do the job. Just even if it's just for the sole reason that they can do it quicker and they can probably do it with a tad more accuracy than I can do it. And plus, what am I going to learn by doing it really? I think sometimes I've just got to say, or anybody really that's mechanically competent, you've just got to say to yourself sometimes, it's just not worth it. I mean, even if I get used to doing it and I know how to do it, I'm never going to use this skill. And all the time and effort and money that I'm using to get to the to get to this point it's just pointless there's other things I could do that other things I could uh, get used to other skills that I could learn that could be more useful and I definitely think that DIY wheel alignment is definitely one of those things it's a, it's a, it's a complete non-starter and I don't think my opinion I don't think anybody should bother unless they can see themselves doing you know at least one alignment a week a bit of a life lesson for me it's not an admission of defeat to hand off a job that mechanically you could do but realistically because of the equipment because of the setup that you need to make it fast it's just not worth getting involved in and you just have to say to yourself you just have to draw the line sometimes I think and say yeah okay I could do it but it's not because I can't do it it's because it's not worth doing myself best to just get the professionals and I'm I've got into that sort of habit taking on more and more stuff with a car um, so I just didn't try to take everything on now. I think it's a trap that it's easy to fall into, you know. You've got all the tools, you've taken on some pretty big jobs, and then you think you take on everything, but you just have to be honest with yourself. Sometimes it ain't worth doing. So that's a video. Uh, hopefully it's not too rambly, semi-informative. Uh, again, if you want to see that camber and, and the, the drama that I've gone through, with these Kayaba dampers and the drama that I've gone through with the alignment you can check that on my other channel link is in the video description that's it for now thanks for watching look after yourselves and I'll see you again in the next video